I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do some more solder joints. This time I'm gonna use the other material, the other flux, uh, the super safe uh, non-acid flux on this side. And you'll see I get pretty much the same results, uh, but you have to work a little slower. Um, this is the material here. Same thing, I'm just going to dip a little bit, just apply a little bit onto the, uh, onto this micro applique. Actually, it's a little bit much on there. Whoops. I'm going to put, same thing, just, just a little dab will do you. Just there, just there, like that. Now my iron's probably due for a cleaning. Yeah, you can see the carbon on the tip. It's getting a little bit. A little bit black there, a little bit of corrosion. I'm going to just knock that off with my brush. Now we're nice and shiny again. A little tin it with a little bit of solder. See how that ball, that stuck right to the tip? Dip it in the flux. Nice and shiny. Just give that one more wipe and we're ready to solder. The process is the very same with this. I'm going to hold the rail in place with my finger. You can hear it sizzle a little bit more. You see it takes a little bit longer for that to flow. In the flow, I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera, but the flow isn't quite as aggressive as it is with the, uh, with the acid base flux. It's a little bit more of a ball on there. I'm going to try another one. The, the, oops, the hold time is a little bit longer to get it to flow. And the heat transfer isn't quite as good uh, with this flux either, so I have to put a little bit of heat and solder on the other side. Same here. I'm not sure how noticeable it is on the camera, but uh, it, is, it is definitely uh, noticeable uh, difference between the acid flux and the uh, and the uh, non-acid flux. Let me do a couple more solder joints. Let's do one down here. Turn this off it. A little bit of flux on both sides. The heat in there. It's not wicking quite as aggressively, and I've also got a ball there. See, by holding the heat, that should be flowing a lot nicer than it is. Let's try another one. It's not too bad. There. That's a pretty good solder joint there for that one. This one needs to be soldered on this side as well. You can see I'm actually touching the the, uh, the solder to the tip. Um, sometimes I read I read advice from various people on how to solder, and they say you don't touch the solder to the tip; you touch it to what you want to to, to solder. But that that doesn't work. You'll never get it hot enough to flow. Um, by touching it to the tip, you're going to start the solder flowing, and as the solder melts and spreads, it's actually going to heat up the surfaces carry that heat. You know, see that's flowing there. So that's a pretty nice one. Let's do one more down here using the same flux. Get a little bit more out of my jar. Some there, some there. And there we go again. I don't like that tip's dirty already. Let's clean that up. There, so I just knock that carbon off the tip. Same thing. Solder onto the tip, gets it flowing, and I just kind of pull it around there and pull it up onto the rail. It's flowing reasonably well. Let that freeze. And come around the other side here. Let's get a little bit of solder on this side. A little bit did flow underneath, but I'd like to see a nice hook. There we go. That flowed really nice on there. A good solder joint. 
One more. Why not? Make sure we get a really good demonstration out of it. A little bit of flux. Again, I'm using the safe, uh, the, the low acid flux in this, on this side. You can hear it sizzling there. And actually, I even got a bit of solder to, to wick underneath. See how long I'm holding it on there? And as I'm holding it, you can see the solder moving. That's good. That's what you want. You want it to move around to really flow, turn into a really... Uh, a really viscous liquid and allow it to flow around. And let's just pop that out here. I have a closer look. And there's just some pretty nice solder chunks. Again, those are very solid. That's gonna that's gonna give you a nice solid piece of track work. 